How to enable and disable any button in Flutter, for example after clicking for the first time on a button or while the text field is empty, otherwise the button will be enabled again. To disable any button in Flutter, you go to the on press property and you set it to null. As a result, if you hot reload, then this button will be disabled. You also can change the disabled button color by defining the on surface property and we change it to blue. As a result, some opacity will be automatically integrated into the button colors. Next, we want to disable our button by clicking on it. And therefore, by default, your button has normally a callback. And if we put it again inside, then our button is active. And now we simply need to switch here dynamically between these both cases. Therefore, we create in our state a field, is button active or not? And finally, depending on the state, we want to set then first of all our callback or otherwise we will set the null value instead. Also, in case our button is currently active, then we want to deactivate our button again by setting this flag to false. And with this, as soon as I press on this button, then the button is deactivated. Next, as soon as we type in the text field, then the button becomes enabled. Otherwise, if we remove the text, then it becomes again disabled. Let's start by putting above our elevated button a text field. And now to determine if our text field has changed, therefore we need to add here a text editing controller that we also want to include inside of our state. So we initialize here our text editing controller and also dispose it. And lastly, you can listen to the changes of the text field. So every time if we are changing anything in the text field, we are going here inside. And with this, we can determine if our button should now be active. So in case our text is not empty, then our button is active. Also make sure that you update then your field in your state. So we put this new value inside of our state here at the top. After hot restarting, we can also try it out. So as soon as I type something, then our button is enabled. Otherwise it will be disabled. And also if you type here something and press here on this button, then you see our button is disabled. However, our text field has here still the text inside. And therefore we also want to remove this text by simply going to our on press handler and here we want to clear then our text field. And with this, as soon as I click on the button, then our button is disabled and we have nothing in our text field. And of course, you can also deactivate here any other button. So let's replace it, for example, with a text button. And now if I hot reload, then we have here instead a text button. And I also can simply deactivate this button if I press on it. And by the way, if you liked this video, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.